one of the things we uh, we do in daytime is we always have. We always oh, have the, the right lady said. So can we bring the uh, bring the lights down a little bit? Really? Uh, yeah, bring it down a little bit. Oh, can we bring the music oh up? candles, look. Let's get the music going. There you go. So you have a little can. All right, huh? I'm feeling special. <laughs> Buon appetito. Hey, Michelle, you should be over here. <laughs> She probably will be tonight. Now, you did something lovely, too. What you did is you took your cookbook and you you personally gave everybody one in the audience today. My pleasure. And the name of your book? It's uh, The Modern Gentleman Cooking and Entertaining with Sean Cannon. And do you know that his book sold out in less than two weeks on Amazon? So if you want to get it, you can go to your website, which is? My website, which is uh, www.seancannonthemoderngentleman.com or your website. Yes, go, go to our website. Uh huh. Okay. okay, so bon appetit. Bon appetit. Let me taste. All right. Oh, that's really Is it good. 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 I'm glad. Mm. You are a gentleman. Marie, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for being I here. I hope everyone has a wonderful Valentine's Day. Yes. Mm. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Coming up, make your Valentine feel extra special with homemade gifts they'll love. Still ahead, how to make Valentine's Day cards you can eat. Now you can spend hours at the store trying to find the perfect Valentine gift for that someone that you love and then you have to make sure because you're not sure and go to the cashier and ask for a gift receipt or you could spend an hour creating something special that your Valentine will never want to return. And here to show us creative ways to say I love you is industry top recycling expert Sonia Nimri. Welcome back. Thank you. Hello. What do you have for us Sonia? Well, the first project I have is this personalized clock. So this is actually made of wine corks that I've collected over the years and a clock that I bought for $15. Now, why $15. do you collect wine corks? You do that oh, with... they're just so neat. You know, they're good for crafting. You can make little reindeers out of them for Christmas and you can make, you know, you can cover tabletops and make like cork boards out of them. How There's a lot cute. you can do with corks. But this is a project that is kind of, it can be a sentimental project because it's, it's you know, it can be corks that you shared bottles of wine with your loved one right. or whatever. And you can also personalize it further by adding um, something to cover the logo. So there I put a On picture of your, your dog, George. <laughs> George! <laughs> yeah, right? Sure, he's quirky. Yeah, you don't want to leave anyone out, right? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> the next project is, um, it's not a personalized uh, present exactly. It's, it's a box that you can put something in, like tickets to, to a movie or a concert or a game. And it's just construction paper that I've cut my husband's initials out of. What? Yeah, and I punched holes with with a little pouncer that I have <gasps> here. You can yes. use a dowel or a, a dowel, yeah. or s any sort of like uh, you know sort of ice pick with thing. your yarn. Yeah, and then you can take um, embroidery thread and just sew through the holes. Oh, that is. Really and it looks cool. like leather, doesn't it? It on does. The top of does the box. It? Can you see that up close? That is really cool looking. And it's I like boxes. Paper. I really do like like unique boxes. Yeah. So this was five ninety nine at the craft store for everything. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very cute idea. And tickets tickets to a movie and come spend, yeah, great idea. This is um, a candy tin that I got last year and I had my kids put their handprints in them. Cute. And I bought this, um, this how, embroidery can kit. Can you see that? That's darling. Yeah, look. And I ate all the candy first. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that was awesome. Okay. Um, and this next present is something, I bought this, uh, this paper. It's a special paper that you can print out images on. Right. And it becomes this film and you can actually attach it onto anything. So I put it and on where do you canvases. get something like that? Just any, any craft store? You can get it at the craft store okay. or online. It's called Decor Attitude. And I, I made one of my husband when he proposed to me. <gasps> and look. And I made one for you. Oh, oh <laughs> look! <laughs> My goodness, what a neat idea that is! And this literally took two minutes. And I just what printed it out on the printer and then threw some spray adhesive on the back. Is that a candle? Yeah, and wrapped. This look is at, George. There's George. This is George, her dog. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> that is so funny. And you can and you can put it on any surface, like I said. Oh, like, that is so cute. Tile coasters. So here I made some coasters. And or you could put an old, old boyfriend's photo and say, I've been burned. <laughs> <laughs> or don't burn me. That would be good, too. 
<laughs> that, and see, here's a, a coaster with you and George on it. Oh, cute. And the, the tiles you can just get at I've the never quite been stoned before, but that's <laughs> That is a very cute idea. Yeah, it's yeah. super easy. And you can get the um, the tiles at the yeah. hardware store or you that. can get them at the a tile. the tiling stores and ask for, you know, a couple samples. Very we'll cool. give you the tiles. Your husband's cute. Oh, thanks. I know, isn't he? <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> now, if you want it and this was is a perfect project for you because you love little messages and you come up with great short one-liners. <laughs> <laughs> this is soap that has personalized messages in it. So you can put whatever you want. I put my one here. Yes, I have awesome. soulmate soap. Kiss Would you like me? to wash your body with some soulmate soap? Very good <laughs> idea. So let me Is show that you. difficult to do? No, let me show you how to do it. Um, you buy this soap at the, the craft store. Right. It's $10 for a little a box of, you know, you need opaque, you need clear. And you add a little bit of red, red dye. The dyes are in the soap department too. Okay. They're special soap dyes and you pour it into this top of a Tupperware. And then you get these little cookie cutters and you can cut out the message you want to say. So let's say Darling. you want to say, you want to try doing the L? Yeah. It's really easy, it's no, fun. It's very, I can tell it's easy. And yeah. I had my kids do it too. You know, it's something you can get like the whole family involved what a, in. What a fun idea for teachers or oh, whatever. Yeah. And if it doesn't come out, you just make another one. It's, it's so easy to. <laughs> you just get a popsi <laughs> popsicle stick and pop it out. Yeah. And then you have to put the, the word in backwards is the key. So here, I'll start. There and backwards, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, that's normal for me. <laughs> <laughs> and you can say anything. Now, you take this clear soap that I've just melted in the microwave for 30 seconds and you pour it on top. And this seals the message. Okay, I guess. I guess that you looks can, like a J. That's like a retroactive okay. U, but it's J. Well, whatever. It, it'll work, yeah. Look, let's <laughs> just take out the middle and we'll pretend it's a U. <laughs> And okay. then after that, you, you uh, melt some opaque soap uh -huh. and pour it in on top after this cools down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you just have this. Cute. It's cute, right? It's really totally cute. easy. Can you put fragrances and different things oh, like yeah. that? In the soap department, uh -huh. they have fragrances. They have all sorts of different colors. I mean, you can mix the colors. I That's let my son mix idea. the colors. And, and it's not that expensive, right? No, no. It's 10 bucks for the soap. Um, you, you need two different kinds, so it's 20 bucks for the soap, and it's just a few dollars right. for that. Very cool. And you can add so many different oh, kinds. Oh, I of used to make this things. when I was a kid. We're you running did? out of time. Awesome. I did. I made earrings out of this. Well, this is just white bread. You put it in a you, little Tupperware. Look, this is so, really fast. Look, you take bread and glue. And glue. And food coloring. And food coloring. And, and then it you, makes a dough. You make these little roses out Are of Are you them. kidding? On the road, I entertain myself for hours. <laughs> oh, yay. And, and here, look. How cute is that? You form little roses, and you can, I did earrings and bracelets. Oh, yeah, earrings yeah. and bracelets. It's perfect for earrings and bracelets. Yeah. But for a grandmother, maybe, um, a picture frame is a great gift because yeah. they have everything already. And I made a pin for my grandmother, and she looked at it and went, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But it's perfect for this because yeah. you can you can have the kids working on it too. Like my kids, they can't make the roses yet, but they actually needed the bread. Right, you can make animals with the white glue. So we'll give you the ratio on our website. Thank you so much for joining sure. us. I, I remember yeah. doing that as a kid. Yeah. Uh, for more information, just go to our website, and we will be right back. Thank you. Sure. Coming up, learn how to make Valentine's Day cards you'll want to eat. Still ahead, romantic movies to watch with your sweetheart.